Why, yes indeed, ladies and gentlemen, here we are again. Uh, I know these waits between episodes are agonizing. But uh, we can't rush good things, and this game is certainly that. Uh, we've been through... Uh, well, let's just say my hair is quite blown back from having been whisked through part three so far. It's been a wild ride we've been on. I've realized in between episodes that uh, this past episode uh, with, uh, you know, the parking garage and the deep six and everything just goes by so fast. It's like it gets operatic with everything it's trying to cram in in part three. Uh, so, it maintains the element of surprise throughout, I'd say, as a holistic package. And now we're placed at the doorstep of Alfred Woden's uh, retirement condo complex. Ironically, the title of this chapter is In the Land of the Blind, so I assume we'll be squaring off with his retiree friends or something. No, I, I think Alfred Woden is rather a friend than a foe. Uh, even if this place does look like a fake, <laughs> falsely accredited college or something, where you could buy a fake diploma, one of those places. My memory of this level is kind of foggy, but I know we did just parachute down from this window as it was getting swarmed by the deadly suits, the thoughtless cretins of Nicole Horn. And uh, yeah, let's do it. I'm pumped. Hope you've got your snack ready. I uh, didn't. Uh... It's very important to these playthroughs. I didn't forget that I had mentioned that. Down we go. What's behind that door is a mystery to me, but it seems to be where we're going. Oh, oh, huh. Speak of the devil, we actually have the, the pioneer weapon in the game. Shit. seem not to be done with the commandos just yet. Uh, but it's this thing. This is what I've been teasing. The jackhammer. It's so aptly named. Basically your automatic type shotgun. You just hold down the trigger and you know make cottage cheese of your enemies. That's basically what it comes down to. Already making sewage of them. It's off to a good start. Looks like a whole new setting. seen this before.
<laughs> it does kind of look like a retirement home. Is this the way to the bingo hall? One of the monitors showed what was left of the inner circle. Oh. Thought I heard an interloper in there. I'm not done with the animations or the storyline. Let's see what's left of the inner circle. On screen, the so called corpse of Alfred Woden stood up, miraculously waking from his dirt nap, looking smug among his dead pals. In the land of the blind, the one eyed man is king. I didn't know how he pulled it off, but it was a pretty slick way to get out of all his promises. Most of what he had said fit too well to be a load of crap. I think you're right there, Max. Woten's not just blowing smoke out of his ass. I think he's really onto something. He's been around the block a few times, if you know what I mean. I mean you have to be pretty old to lose an eye. I guess that's not exactly how it works. <laughs> Self-fulfilling prophecy. Claim the liability. Yeah, I remember pretty much uh, switching entirely to this weapon, never vacillating away from it in my uh, younger days. Because once you get it, it's just too fun to let go of. <laughs> Lesser men have fallen for those tricks. The hell was he? Is this? It's a bidet? Is this one big luxurious bathroom? Uh. But we're definitely swimming with the big fish. Too late to go back now. stock with P killers, which makes me believe there might be a formidable stretch before us. It's a precarious section. service long overdue to the city this crusade nonsense has gone too far he's out of control it must stop he will be stopped that was deputy chief jim Rivera from the new york city police department jim Rivera is kind of small time now Just a working grunt in all this chaos.
Well, we know if we run out of painkillers, we pretty much have a veritable pharmacy behind us. Which is good. A videotape lay on the desk. Nicole Horn had blackmailed the inner circle into silence. The tape came with a curt extortion note on a piece of expensive paper. I remembered Candy Dawn taping her clients in action on the side, selling the tapes to the highest bidder. I was sure that kinky sex was nowhere near Alfred Woden's worst sin. But I had a feeling that when this was over, any collateral would come in handy. Yes, that's right. It's all coming together right before your eyes. Set up and pay off. Uh, the oldest trick in the book. It's as if they were really thinking we would be here early on in the game. Woden had left me a present. What do you shit on his desk? <laughs> what do we have here? Woden had taken care of my mission preps with military precision. The critical areas in the Acer Corporation headquarters blueprints were circled in red. The president's office was at the top of the building right below her penthouse suite. The elevators were controlled by a security computer, part of the mainframe located underground below the building. The high-rise was sealed as tight as a sci-fi fortress. So you can guess where we're heading. I know, as if this weren't exciting enough. I could spend all my days in this prestigious labyrinth jackhammering my foes into submission. Sure, Max would be no less content. <laughs> it's faster than my bullets. I smell fear. Really, who is shooting? We have our guppy. Hmm. Now, before we try anything dangerous, let's just uh, yeah, reassure ourselves there and. Can it be done? I don't believe so. Cannot be vaulted over. Uh, but it's kind of cool. That's like the front entrance by the looks of it. Uh, whatever this building is, it's architecturally pretty pleasing. I still really don't have any idea. I mean, who are these, who are these founding fathers? Mutton Chops McGee and Sandbag Samuel. <laughs> I think there might have been a, a Shotgun Samuel or some other name like that in the last episode. And we're just getting the grand old tour here, aren't we? Uh, we've yet to really see any function of the building and... Damn! Walked right into that trap. Uh, alright, we're right here. Yeah, I mean, it, it so far just looks like a, a Congress building, I guess. Uh, replete with high-tech laser security. Aw, oh, shit. road occurrence by this point that uh, the game gets you so pumped up with these little bursts of music and then just doesn't follow it through with enough enemies. It's okay though. Maybe on a harder difficulty it would be more satisfying. So have we come this way? Or are we just in the opposite wing of the building so everything's symmetrical? I'm assuming the latter. 
not an actual ladder, just to be clear. That wouldn't make any sense. Uh, feels like we're missing something. I won't be foolish though, this is no time for dilly-dallying. No, it definitely feels like we're missing something, I mean... Where to now, Jethro? Oh shit! This feels like a secret area. Nah, nah, wait a second here. Yeah, yeah. That was just... Just a very unsound decision because that uh, puts us at the beginning of the level thereabouts. Well, I think we could still use this time to uh, just appreciate. They really go out of their way with the, the scale of the levels, as I've just relentlessly hammered on up to this point like exponentially more uh, <laughs> I guess the organizations behind all of this just get more and more intense imagine having to work here This is like 80% of what you look at in your adult life. Your ass gradually becomes the shape of this chair seat. Everything you post in this board loses all significance over time. And what else? Who would be the neighbor to this person? Wonder if they're even know each other. This almost looks like a, a you know, like a city city council department or something. Department of waste. Management. Maybe that's what this is. They're just in charge of getting rid of the trash in the city. I, I can commend that. <laughs> My foibles. Maybe this was actually a justice. Uh, I will... <laughs> can't complain that it's by that reset. Let's get a full bite out of this one. Let them come in. Yeah. My heart's pumping. Much better. Oh, you just... Yeah, you just keep going this way. Someone's got a pretty powerful pea shooter through here. Don't know where they are. Well, they're probably on this side if they were firing at the door. I could just be making that up. Now I'm blind. Do 
Blind as Alfred Wooden's golf cart riding friends. This is not how the game is meant to be played. Is he just a sleuth? How is he hiding? Is he down there then? Because I think I see the bolts hitting with at my chest level. Yeah, yeah. He's no grand strategist like I took him to be. He's just... Just been lucky his whole career. Yet again, we seem to have reached an impasse. I mean, imagine how the patients, or I mean, residents with dementia feel here. Just constantly wandering the halls, haunting them. Now do we just go down there? Ah, no. We might just leave, but who knows? Asgard building. Conference, reception, and security, library, and trade, administration, finance, library. see where we were supposed to go. Uh, alright. So this was just merely a stop on our way down. Got it. Yeah, I mean, you can't fault it for... Um... It does wear its influences on its sleeve. It doesn't pretend to coy about that. Best movie ending ever? Damn it. <laughs> Such a cleverly placed laser. Whatever it is. Best movie ending ever? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this man's hung up like a light ornament. technically attached to anything by the look of it. Like you can see a small space. It's just being drained <laughs> slowly. It's one of our endearing suits. I made a note about them being a rather, like, kind of a final form of, you know, just like the henchmen that we see in the game a few episodes ago, not knowing that we still have this to wade our way through all the commando missions and whatnot. They fly by in the blink of an eye.
had dreamed of revenge. Those dreams were always nightmares of coming close and then failing. Now I was close. I had a name to guide me, Nicole Horn. I had nothing to lose. Oh, this was piss poor. The inner circle had timing. <laughs> Silenced by my own grenade. going on? Oh, what a little domino effect. I take it this is the library. Still no idea what this place is, whether a fake community college or... The inner circle had quite a track record. Actually just a waste management facility. Thank you. <laughs> kind of looks like a post office as well, or like a like a secure room of a bank. Where you leave your... Uh, I don't know what people leave in those things. Money? Is it just cash? Postage? Project Valhalla had not been the only thing the inner circle had been involved in. There were rows of cabinets full of files. The Serpentine Secret Society went back a long way, always pulling strings from the shadows. NFL rings. I couldn't say I was sorry. Woden's move in some Byzantine power game had cut the Circle's membership roster to one. The old man wanted me on cleanup duty. It was my mess, too. Uh, I was not paying attention. Nice to have some seating around here, you know, if you were gonna take uh, some files out of the cabinets here. Have a nice reading time. I think this room is not very hospitable for just leisurely scholarship. All the guns notwithstanding. I just mean in terms of, like, there's no natural light. Unclear. This is most definitely a library now. Let's see, there's a little thing there. <laughs> If we had shot that, like, right here. Put them lights out. Yeah, I actually hardly remember any of this. It's quite amazing.
an overall, like, grim kind of place. It's rooted in this, like, classical, I don't know if it's Greek or something, uh, severity. <laughs> but this is definitely a pretty freaking secret place. Horror. This man's seen the void. I almost forgot about the flasher enemy type. But. Uh, the movie room where Alfred and his friends watch their propaganda flicks. Like, okay, this is a secret society and all, I understand. So what do they, like, talk about here? What? Who's given, giving addresses? Picture this is where you'd gather, like, one... Cosmologist over here from, you know, one five-star general from, and and so on, from every corner of the world. Uh, I just I wish I knew more. place is just shrouded in an opaque wall of secrecy. Impressive obelisk. Looks like it's the front entrance again. Quite the place. I assume that's our way. Clutching his genitals, as one would. I feel deprived of the jackhammer ammo. I'm ready to get hammering. I think we'll see some more of that in action in the next level. Haha. <laughs> Dead. Ooh. Made it out pretty badly burnt. Max's jaw is like wrapped around his left shoulder, but that's fine. 
He's got nothing to lose. welcoming him in turned out to be true yeah that brings us back there I knew this was familiar so now where does one go finally run out of pills Interesting. Like, I mean, it, it seems that we're supposed to come back this way to some extent, retread old ground, but like, probably not totally retread stuff. Is it this? Oh, yeah. Haven't saved in a while. Popped like a blood balloon. This is far back. And like a nuclear physicist from here, and maybe a uh, uh, atavistic lobotomist <laughs> doesn't know what he's talking about over here. I guess I really did pick him off. Lord, that part was... Uh, quite the Herculean feat. It took me a few tries of wandering the halls through this place before I actually remembered to save before entering this room and in that regard Sorry about that. The peak of their career and everything. place is cheaply made, falling apart at the seams. It's clearly some kind of Greek revival, not the real thing. This is probably just some uh, you know, cheap rebar or something.
Uh, <laughs> okay. There's a lot going on. <laughs> Ah, they're finally making do on their promise. This is definitely the finale. Right. <laughs> Again, <laughs> got my hopes up for a little more action. It was. Max is just too strong for them now. Why can we hear the outside all of a sudden? Maybe it's our cue that Max's sights are now trained on leaving this place again. wasn't the most original approach to the problem. It wasn't as if it hadn't all been done before. An eye for an eye, the first principle of revenge. Old as dirt, still going strong. The cardinal rule in going after someone with an intention to kill was not to make it personal, which it almost always ended up being anyway. It did with me. I took my time cruising around the city in the snow. There was no hurry. I knew what I had to do now. I took my time thinking about it, building up the rage. When I was ready, I parked the stolen wheels at the front entrance of the Acer Corporation headquarters. Got out, got in, got cracking. I had a bullet with Nicole Horn's name on it. I had 10,000 bullets with the hag's name on them. She had ultra high tech security systems, enough mercenaries and weaponry to start World War III. There was no fear. New York disappeared behind a veil of snow. I had crossed the threshold. This was her domain, sleek and sexy and soulless, all glass and steel. A place of color-coded security key cards, metal detectors, and surveillance systems. Colder than a walk-in fridge, cold as a gun. Yes, all this time destined for here. I can sense you know what the timbre of this final series of levels is, or rather chapters, because it all kind of takes place in this building. It's going to be like, uh, I bet this place seems resonant of the introduction when we first started the main story, post-tutorial, of course. But it's the moment you've all been waiting for. It's for sure. All of this narrative escalation and uh, just a, the complete enigma that has been this game so far is boiling over in this level we're about to get our feet wet in. In the next one, we'll get to see the dramatic conclusion of the story, where it'll be make or break for Max, and surely us as viewers who are highly invested in this content. Uh, the game does deliver, I, I do want to say that from memory, so we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, come ready next time, because it's going to be overwhelming. Thanks for watching, and see you in the last one.
he's sleeping.